Well, the man accused of assaulting former Fox and Chief Meteorologist John Ed Thompson back in court today. Yeah, Nelson Ridley Kane facing a felony charge of elderly abuse as well as neglect. His attorney recently filed a motion to have him move from jail to an inpatient drug and alcohol rehab facility. Our Ashlyn Mitchell talked to the district attorney, Keith Blackwood, and Ashlyn, has the judge ruled on Kane's request? Yeah, he has, Lenisa and Byron. The judge denied that motion, so Kane will stay in jail. However, a motion to amend Kane's bond was partially granted. His bond will stay at $30,000, but the court did remove the component of ankle monitoring. It's been nearly five months since former Fox 10 chief meteorologist John Ed Thompson was assaulted at a gas station in broad daylight. Police arrested 33-year-old Nilsson Ridley Kane in connection to the assault, charging him with second-degree elderly abuse and neglect. Surveillance video from the gas station caught the incident. Police say Kane physically attacked Thompson after he refused to give him money. Kane has remained in Metro Jail ever since. Recently, Kane's attorney filed a motion asking that Kane be taken to an inpatient rehabilitation facility on grounds that he suffered from pill and alcohol addiction for about three years, which caused him to lose his job at the start of 2023. Requested to enter um, a 12 step program uh, type thing. This is the state's response, arguing that, quote, at no time in his motion does the defendant accept any responsibility for his actions or even blame his addiction for his actions. And the defendant was violent before his alleged addiction issues, citing his conviction in Tuscaloosa Circuit Court for second degree assault back in 2011, long before Kane claimed his addiction issues began. On Thursday morning, the judge denied Kane's request to be transferred. Mobile District Attorney Keith Blackwood says the judge made this decision with public safety in mind. We felt like that it was um, kind of a ploy just to get out of jail and um, you know we had concerns uh, that if he were to get out and enter um, an unsecure inpatient facility uh, that he could walk away and uh, you know bad things might happen. So we opposed that motion. Uh, very strongly. We are certainly uh, concerned about treating underlying addictions. However, um, you know, we cannot do that at the expense of the safety of the community. Now, meanwhile, the case awaits a decision by a grand jury of whether or not Kane will be indicted. I reached out to Kane's attorney for a statement on this, and I'm awaiting a reply. Reporting live in studio tonight, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.